All right, good afternoon. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, we got a new boat out of storage. Finally bought it in December from Pro Choice Marine down in the Ozarks again. Traded in the Nitro. Um, I'll probably never buy another Nitro again. We had a bunch of electrical problems um, and just not that impressed. So uh, let's kind of do a quick walkthrough. Um, so we got the 2020 Ranger Z521L. Got it paired with the Merc. 254 stroke um, went with a dual council so I'll be fishing with some friends this year hopefully a little bit more serious about fishing but um, first chance we get we're gonna go down the Ozarks for the big bass bash so we got two 12 inch Lorance HDS live units uh, at the dash we also have a 16 up front uh, probably put the life side transducer i was hoping they kind of upgraded a little bit i'm really impressed with the last one on the nitro we had um, as far as the ranger i've never even used this thing before but uh it's definitely a little bit better quality um obviously there's seems like the fiberglass it's a little bit thicker um the layout on the storage is great just not that impressed with uh, the fact that I can't put an eight foot rod except for in the middle storage locker. And I like to leave all my boxes there. So um, just tons and tons of storage, side compartments, tools. Gonna, right now we got about 25 rods in the boat. We're gonna condense down to probably 15. So both sides are like this. Um, I don't know if this is the greatest for rod storage, I'm not really that impressed with these. Um, that's the one thing I liked about the Nitro. Actually, I prefer they didn't leave any guides in here at all. They just left them open compartments. Um, because with these rod socks and stuff, uh, they don't really get tangled up. So, brand new, all tracks, iPilot. Um, I've always had talons on my other boats. Now, this came with the uh, power pole. So, We'll see how these work. I've never used them before. Uh, heard good things. As far as the bath, back battery here, got a really beefy charger. Four batteries. Um, with running all these graphs in the past, I've actually added a fifth battery to the cranking battery. I don't think I have room in this boat. It doesn't look like it. So hopefully um, there's no issues this time. Um, but besides that, overall, I mean, without actually running the boat itself, uh, I'm pretty impressed. Uh, you got this basically, there's no key with this. This boat, and I don't know if all the other Rangers like this, there's a pin pad to unlock the whole boat. You don't have to worry about bringing your key. You got a pro trim switch and some other stuff. So I'm um, not gonna want, obviously, get it wide open it's got a break-in period of about 10 hours so we'll see how it is on the water if you like the video don't forget to hit the subscribe button thanks